So in this video I'm going to talk about how Fleming's left hand rule can be applied to the rotational motion of a coil inside a magnetic field. And these are the principles involved in an electric motor. So what you've got here is you've got a magnetic field set up between a north and a south pole and you've got a coil that rotates around a, an axis as you can see in the diagram here. So what if we want to work out what the torque is or the rotational force we can use Fleming's left hand rule to allow us to do that and then obviously some of the equations we learnt about in more to go a bit more specific than Fleming's left hand rule. So to recap from last time, we left off with F equals B I L cos theta, where angle where the theta is the angle between the normal to the wire and the field. And we can see in examples like this where you've got wires in two different directions using the normal is much more advantageous as the normal is the same for both of them, but obviously the angle of the wire is different for the two wires on the sides of the coil. Okay, so we want to work out what torque is. First we need to know what the moment of one of the forces is, and then obviously there's going to be two forces both trying to turn it in the same direction. So moment is force times the, the perpendicular distance from the centre of the rotation. So we can see W is the whole width of the coil, but the centre of rotation is only halfway between those two. So you'd multiply the force by W over 2. So you take B I L cos theta multiplied by W over 2 gives you half B I L W cos theta. Now if you think about it, you've got forces acting on both sides of the coil, and they're both going to be trying to rotate the coil in the same direction. The forces are going to be in opposite directions, but they're going to be working together to cause a rotation. So actually the total torque is going to be twice that number, so just end up being B I L W cos theta. Or as is sometimes written B I A cos theta, where A is is the area of the coil. Okay. So that's just if there's one turn. Now if there's multiple turns of wire, this torque is going to get multiplied by the number of turns of wire because the force would be multiplied by the number of turns of wire. So the torque on a multi-turn wire you end up with this B I L N W cos theta. There's a lot of terms in there, so let's have a look at an example question. Okay, so we've got a 20 turn coil at an angle of 30 degrees to the field lines. And it's in a magnetic field of magnetic flux density 4.0 Tesla. The coils are 4 centimeters by 5 centimeters. So calculate the torque if the current in the coil is 5 amps. So Let's work out a few terms first of all. So the area of the coil is going to be converting into meters. So that's going to give you the area. We've got N is equal to 20, so you've got 20 turns of wire. B is equal to 4.0 tether. We've got current I is 5.0 amps. And we've got theta. Now we were given the angle between the, well, the coil and the field, so we want to work out what the normal is. 90 minus 30, which is going to give you 60 degrees. Let's plug that in. So the torque is B I A N cos theta, which is going to be 4.0 times 5.0 times 2 times 10 to the minus 3 
times 20 times cosine of 60, and that comes out at, if I've done this correctly, 0.4 newton meters, which is the unit of torque in this case. So be very careful in these questions, because if they say the coil is at a 30 degree angle to the field lines, basically what they're saying is if you look over on the diagram that So the angle between this here and this here is 30 degrees, whereas we're interested in the normal to the coil, which is going to be 60 degrees in there. Okay, so be very careful with that type of question. And obviously we've got our unit conversion there. And simply it's a case of plugging it in. And don't worry about too much about whether in these sort of cases, whether what's the width, what's the length. Typically, you're going to be calculating what the area is, so it actually doesn't matter particularly which way around they are.